What's going guys? Zenos here and today in this video of Fixus Heroes, let's talk about the Choice Fate Go Race Summon Banner of the Banga Heroes that is going to pop up tomorrow. That is going to be September 10th, Thursday after the maintenance till September 17th, Thursday at 1.59 UDC time. Just like the Choice Fate Go Race Summon Banner of the First Guardians, in this Banga Family Banner as well, we will be able to select one hero out of the six heroes that is made available right over here. And two of the heroes are gold Fate Go Hero Units, whereas the rest of the four hero units are the black fate core heroes all right so gold fate core heroes are gonna be this fate core gene and the fate core tantala who have 0.5 percent chance to be dropped whenever you are doing the multi summons but if you do not manage to get them even after 28 multi summons you will be able to pity them whereas the black fate core heroes like let's say uh, fate core hekin fate core Luke, Fate Core Morris, and the Fate Core Adams have 0.7% chance to be dropped. And if you cannot summon them by 19 multi summons, you will be able to pity them as well. And now the main question is which hero to really lock into? If you are really asking me, I would say, like, I would totally skip this banner okay none of this hero actually make any sense to me at all provided the current uh meta of the hero units out there but especially to those uh players out there who are really into the banga family and they really want to collect all those uh, Banga family hero units out there they might be really interested in like which hero units are really really the best among these six hero units out here so let's get this started Fate Korjin well he can be a really good selection out there right away uh, he is really well known for dealing a lot of damage to the opponents with low mana cost right out there so that's why he's very effective and is also one of the fastest unit in the game being able to have i mean like he has about like 115 base attack speed so that makes him really really fast okay and that's the fate Kojin out there guys um uh, if you are really looking out for some really good damage then he this guy is really for you and on top of that one as being a banga family a hero he has that effect called hard strike which he can inflict on the opponents and with that hard strike you can decrease the defense of the opponents by up to 1000 points being able to decrease their attack speed by up to 20 points i guess and you can even inflict the blind status effect on them as well and when the enemy are blinded they will not be able to land a single hit on you guys so pretty much you can really kill the enemy on whatever style you want okay <laughs> so there we go guys and the next hero unit is going to be the fate Tantalo. he's also a really good hero unit out there but not really that super for the pvp contents and you will definitely not see the fate Tantalo being used in the pvp content whatsoever even in the uh, tag teams people really don't like to use him why because his skill sets are not really that well designed for the pvp contents whereas for the pve story contents he's pretty much quite effective right over there you would definitely want to use him over there but with so many restrictions right out there in his skills uh, definitely you would definitely not want to get him unless he's the last hero out there in your banga family uh, bucket list okay <laughs> so there we go that's all i have to say yes he's good he's good his skills are very awesome but it's just that like the design the way that has effects are pretty much packed in the skills are not really that well suitable for the pvp contents and definitely pve contents are quite really really harsh indeed right now and doing pve contents is quite boring nowadays if you really have to ask me okay <laughs> next year is gonna be fate core hekin well let's not actually talk about him it's just like ah meh uh, next year unit is gonna be fate core luke well he's a very good amazing tanking unit guys he can tank a lot of damage being able to improve his own defense plus improving his own current health and being able to share the health to the entire allies and also being able to provoke i guess as well his pretty amazing unit out there being able to soak up a lot of damage and provide a really great defense to the entire team as well so fate Golu, pretty amazing uh but for me I, as i have already got naomi so i would not really want to go away after the fate core luke because he has a little bit higher uh, mana cost charge Okay, whereas the Naomi just provides like same stuff, but in a more, um, you know, like feasible way or let's more viable way. Okay, so there we go, guys. And Naomi is a very, you know, like free character right over here right now. I actually landed, I, I actually managed to get the Naomi today from that seven days login gift. Okay, so there we go, guys. And next hero unit is going to be the Fate Morris. Well, uh, he is one of the 
favorites out there of so many players out there being able to do do a lot of damage to the opponents especially with the second active skill being able to charge an amazing nuke onto the opponents being able to one shot kill them because 1050 percent damage on a single target with a mana burst what more do you want <laughs> that's what fate Morris really does provide to your team being able to counter the opponents and also being able to improve their attack stats is really cool out there so fate Morris. Uh, like quite a viable option guys quite a viable option and next option is gonna be the fate core adams just like fate core morris he can actually deal some really good damage to the opponents as well and he's also quite a beloved character of so many hero units out there anyways the banga family are well known for the heart strikes right and if you really are there to counter the first guardians here and there especially in the pvp tag team then yes you can use the banga heroes out there guys but i would say in the current pve contents even the banga family warriors are gonna have a really problematic time in facing the opponents guys because the defense stats of the opponents are just too high really 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 high like more than 4,000 points and even if you are going to decrease their defense stats by 1,000 points they are still going to tank a lot of damage guys so pretty much Banga family warriors are not really that super effective if you have to ask me so that is pretty much it guys uh, this is also one of one of the reasons why I really don't want to spend any kind of sets in this banner personally but it's really up to you guys anyways the first priority would definitely go to the fate core gen okay and the second priority would be going to the fate core morris i would say and the third priority would be going between like fate core luke and the fate core adams in my opinion all right uh, i might be a little bit biased but it's really up to you guys to actually decide like which would be the first second or the third priority. let me know in the comment section below all right because for me all of these heroes are a little bit useless to me <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. I'm really sorry about that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and their main uh, effective is definitely going to come when it comes to the PvP tag teams. That is pretty much it, guys. So uh, these there are like some informations which I have already mentioned uh, earlier, guys. So that is pretty much it, guys. Okay. Cost for opening the content none okay so well you really don't have to spend any kind of sets in order to open up this uh choice fed core summon banner and the first recruit is gonna cost you guys only 200 sets and i know that there are so many players who were actually able to get their fate core hero units from the 200 sets first multi summon in the last first guardian hero unit so really big big congrats to them and i uh, hope you guys the same luck right over here in this banner as well obviously i will be trying to do my best to have that lock <laughs> to get the fate core hero unit possibly fate core jen all right uh from the summon banner whenever i'm spending that 200 sets on the first multi summon and that's the only sets i'm going to spend on it all right so there we go guys and after the first recruit uh you will be able you, i mean like you will be charged 700 sets on words okay so 700 sets just like the normal charge uh, for the rest of the summon banners right over there guys so that is pretty much it guys Anyways, the fate core, uh, the core miles will be deleted once the choice fate core ray ends. When you obtain the fate core, you will get both fate core and its heroes. So don't worry about that one, guys, because I, there are still so many players out there who are still thinking that if they get the fate core, they might not be able to get the hero and they have to get the hero in the separate batch of summons. So it's not like that. Once you get the hero, fate core, uh, then you will be also getting the hero attached to it as well. So no need to worry about that one. So it's fate core ray does not include the exclusive weapon chance increase recruit banner. Okay, so there we go, guys. Seems like the extra heroes uh developers are pretty much out of ideas to <laughs> come up with new design of hero units so they are trying to refresh up the summon banners with the banga family banner first guardian banner and definitely the next is going to be another type of banner out there so let's see what we are actually going to get and maybe we might actually get that summer festa banner as well so who knows all right <laughs> so that is pretty much it guys so what do you guys think about this kind of banners let me know in the comment section below who is going to be your main favorite pick out of all this all of these hero units let me know as well anyways for me it would be a easy skip uh, what would you guys do would you really spend your sets in this banner or not let me know in the comment section below as well anyways that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contest of my channel see you guys in the next video